There are many improvements that could be made that would make both Mexico and the United States stronger and keep industry in our hemisphere. Trump has always called for a wall between the hemispheres. <laughs> and he'll make the oceans pay for it. But as soon as Trump got back on U.S. soil, he was back to Trump classic. These violent offenders cannot be sent home. Our law enforcement officers have to release them into your communities. Those released include individuals convicted of killings, sexual assaults, rape, attempted murder, and child molestation. The result will be millions more illegal immigrants, thousands of more violent, horrible crimes, and total chaos and lawlessness. That's what's going to happen as sure as you're standing there. Is the bad man gone? <laughs> Jimmy, do I have time to change my pants? <laughs> oh, because I am at code brown right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand how he changes emotions so quickly. He went from Mr. Cool in Mexico to thermonuclear in like an hour. I'm starting to think there might be more than one Donald Trump. Here's my theory. Trump is actually three Oompa Loompas standing in the human pyramid inside his suit. One of them's reasonable, two of them really don't like immigrants. Most incredibly, because to me this is unbelievable, we have no idea who these people are, where they come from. I always say Trojan horse. Or Trojan pinata. They're a crafty people. <laughs> You know, they'll make it, it'll be festive, they roll it to the border, we'll hit it thinking that it's got candy inside. Instead, illegal immigrants will come tumbling out. They'll steal our jobs and then steal our candy. Sometimes it's just not going to work out. It's our right as a sovereign nation to choose immigrants that we think are the likeliest to thrive and flourish and love us. America has the right to choose immigrants who love us. And Donald Trump knows they're out there. He's already married two of them. He did! He did! We will build a great wall along the southern border. And Mexico will pay for the wall. 100%. They don't know it yet, but they're going to pay for the wall. We will terminate the Obama administration's deadly, and it is deadly, non-enforcement policies that allow thousands of criminal aliens to freely roam our streets, walk around, do whatever they want to do, crime all over the place. They crime over here, they crime over there. Here a crime, there a crime, everywhere a crime, crime. <laughs> There's no other way to say it, but e -I -E -I -O. There are at least two million, two million, think of it, criminal aliens now inside of our country. Two million people, criminal aliens. We will begin moving them out day one, as soon as I take office. Day one, my first hour in office, those people are gone. 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 Hard to believe. With the power we have, hard to believe. We're like the big bully that keeps getting beat up. Do you ever see that? The big bully that keeps getting beat up. Remember how bad you felt when that mean karate kid beat the crap out of Cobra Kai? Trump 2016, sweep the leg. I call it extreme vetting, right? Extreme vetting. I want extreme. It's going to be so tough. And if somebody comes in, that's fine. But they're going to be good. It's extreme. 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 <laughs> It's going to be underwater paperwork, citizenship tests on a skateboard. Nobody gets in unless they can complete the American Ninja Warriors course. 
And as always, our extreme vanning will be sponsored by Mountain Dew Baja Blast.